for Mommy. I want to get Mommy a present, but I just can't think of what she'd like. Can you think of anything, Caillou? No, Daddy. Looks like you need a hand. Hold on to the Rosie Mobile, please. Hi, Caillou. Look at our picture. Can we get one too, Daddy? Perfect. Perfect? Yes, that would make a fantastic present for Mommy. What a great idea. Are those umbrellas? Yes, they're for the flash. They make the light bounce all around. Why don't we make this photo a surprise for Mommy, okay? Caillou thought that was a very good idea. Okay, Daddy. But that means we have to keep it a secret. Think you can do that? Yes. We mustn't tell Mommy about it at all. We don't want to spoil the surprise, do we? So we zip our lips. Okay? Hi, everybody. I'm Bryce. Okay, now how about you two give me a great big smile? I don't think we got it that time. Let's do another one. Smile, please. Hmm, we need to find a way to make Rosie smile. Caillou thought he knew a way to make Rosie smile. Rosie likes this. Maybe if I stand by the camera and show it to her. Watch the dinosaur, Rosie. Perfect. You can come back here and pick up the photo tomorrow. Let's go you know where to pick up you know what. Are you two ever going to tell me your big secret? It's a fo- Uh-oh. It's a surprise, Mommy. If we tell you, it won't be a surprise. Caillou felt very proud that he had kept the surprise a secret. And I don't suppose you're going to tell me either. <laughs> Why don't you come with us? To you know where? To pick up you know what? <gasps> oh, thank you! I love my present. It was a very good surprise, too. Thank you for keeping it a secret. And now that we don't have to keep it a secret anymore, we can unzip our lips. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday brunch. When Caillou woke up, he was very excited because today was a special day. Gilbert, it's Mommy's day and I made her a present. Look! Where's Mommy? I thought I'd let her sleep in this morning. I'm bringing her coffee. Wait, Daddy! You forgot this! Caillou was very proud to have wrapped his gift all by himself. He couldn't wait to give it to Mommy. Happy birthday, Mommy! Thank you, Caillou. But it's not my birthday today. It's Mother's Day. And this must be my Mother's Day present. Open it! I have an even better idea. Why don't we open it during brunch? What's brunch? It's breakfast and lunch at the same time. Since this is Mommy's special day, we're taking her to brunch at a restaurant. Yay! Beesh! <laughs> Good morning, sir. Madam, would you follow me? Your table is ready. Caillou had never been called sir before. He really enjoyed being treated like a grown-up. Where's our food, Daddy? The food is on the tables over there. We go and serve ourselves. It's called a buffet. 
Here you go, sweetie. We have to take our plates with us. Those people were here first, Caillou. We have to wait in line until it's our turn to get the food. Caillou had never seen so much food before. He didn't know where to begin. I want to carry my plate. Okay, but be careful. Walk very slowly. Uh, it's all right, sweetie. Someone will clean it up. But I think I should carry it back to the table, okay? Caillou was disappointed. He really wanted to show Mommy that he could do it himself. Don't you like your food, Caillou? I'm not hungry anymore. Can we go home now? I think I see something that might cheer you up. Doesn't Mommy get a cake with candles? They don't usually do that for Mother's Day, Caillou. How about you choose whatever you want? Maybe I can arrange something, if that's what the young gentleman wants. Yay! Happy birthday! Oops! <laughs> I mean, happy Mommy's Day, Mommy! Thank you, Caillou. Would you like to help me blow out the candle? <gasps> Mommy, it's my favorite car. You can play with it all day. Thank you. This is the best Mother's Day ever. Come on, Caillou. Mommy's waiting for us to fix lunch. Caillou didn't know it yet, but the empty lot was about to turn into something new. Look, Daddy, I want to bring it home to Mommy. That's a great idea, Caillou. She would love that. Mommy, it's for you! Caillou found it on the vacant lot at the end of the street. Thank you, Caillou. It's lovely. Mr. Hinkle mentioned that the lot was sold, and they're going to start building today. Really? Do you know what that means, Caillou? Tractors! Maybe we can go and see them in action. Yay! When can we go see the tractors? We'll go and see if they're there after lunch, okay? The tractors will be there to build a new house, Caillou. We're going to have new neighbors. That's a big tractor. Caillou loved watching the tractor digging up the lot. He couldn't wait to go and see the construction site again. Beep, beep. Look out, I'm backing up. Vroom. Come on, Caillou. We're going to the park. Let's go. Can we walk by the tractors, Mommy? <laughs> oh, I don't see why not. We've been there almost every day this week. As the days went by, there was so much neat stuff to see. Tractors, cement trucks, and construction workers hammering away. The Caillou forgot all about the new neighbors. Until one day, when they saw a family moving in. Mommy, the new people are moving in. I saw someone in the window. Will the new boy want to play at the park with me, Mommy? What new boy, Caillou? The boy in the window at the new house. I didn't realize they had a boy. Maybe we should go and meet our new neighbors. Hi. We thought we'd stop by and welcome you to the neighborhood. I made you a little something. That's very kind of you. I think the boys are out back. I'm sure they'd love to meet you. Caillou was excited about making a new friend, but when he saw the boy, he suddenly felt a little shy. Hi, I saw you walk by with your mom. I'm Jason. What's your name? Caillou. Can you throw like this, Caillou? Hey, Jason, you're not allowed to do that. I'm telling. Mom! That's my twin brother, Jeffrey. He's a tattletale. Look, Mommy, I have two new friends. <laughs> Jeffrey, let's go swing! I'm Jason. Jeffrey's over there. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. We're used to it. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Mom for a day. 
I have to go to a business meeting. Mm. And I won't be home until very late. Mm. Do you think you could help Daddy while I'm gone, Caillou? Yes, Mommy. No, Daddy. What's wrong, Caillou? Mommy never puts cheese on Rosie's macaroni. She doesn't like it. Juice? Daddy, Mommy always adds a little water to Rosie's apple juice. Oops, I forgot. You're absolutely right, Caillou. What would I do without your help? Hmm, what about Gilbert? What's his routine, Caillou? <laughs> Make sure he has fresh water and food. Himself, Mommy always kissed his boo-boos until he felt better. I'll make it better, Rosie. I'm the daddy, and you're the baby, Rosie. Caillou was having a wonderful time playing house with Rosie. But Rosie was getting tired. I think somebody's ready for a nap. wanted to play with Rosie, but he knew he wasn't allowed to make noise when she was taking her nap. Achoo! Achoo! Caillou, did you wake Rosie up on purpose? Maybe you should go and play in your room for a while until supper's ready, okay? Rosie, you have to eat everything on your plate if you want dessert. Look, Caillou ate everything. Rosie, look! This is an airplane. Open wide for the plane. Room! <laughs> I wonder what Mommy would do to make Rosie stop fussing. I know! You're a tired little girl, Rosie. You have to go to bed. Daddy, you forgot to read us a story. Well, why don't you read us the story tonight, Caillou? Okay. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away... Caillou? Rosie? What are you two still doing up? Shh! Daddy's asleep! <laughs> Caillou to the rescue! Caillou was having fun pretending to be a lion tamer. The only problem was, he couldn't get his lion to cooperate. Come on, Gilbert, jump! Like this! Ta-da! Oh! Caillou was a little scared by the dog, but Gilbert was much more afraid. Gilbert! Come down, Gilbert! The doggy's gone now! Look! It's your favorite mousy mouse! He was so high up in the tree, Caillou worried that Gilbert might fall. This ladder isn't tall enough to reach Gilbert. We have to get him down. And we will. But we have to get help from someone with a taller ladder. Um. 
Caillou sure was excited to see the firefighters in their big red truck. Eric? Is that you? It sure is. Hey! Long time no see. You know my daddy? Caillou was impressed that daddy knew a firefighter. I sure do. Your dad and I used to play together when we were kids. My name is Eric. What's yours? Caillou. It's nice to meet you, Caillou. Now, let's get your kitty down from the tree. Okay, Stacy, let's set the ladder up. We'll have him down in a jiffy. You don't mind if I borrow this, do you? Thanks. There you are, Gilbert. Come here. Look what I've got. Caillou was amazed at how high the fire truck ladder could go. Up and up and up. He could never climb as high as Stacy could. Gotcha. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Can I look inside the truck? I have a better idea. Why don't you come to the fire station for a tour? If that's okay with your daddy. Can we? That would be fun. Can we ride in the truck? <laughs> no problem. Yay! <laughs> Do. That one rings the fire bell on top of the truck. Go ahead, Caillou. Push it. <laughs> I can do it myself, Daddy. Caillou wanted to be a big boy and get out of the truck like his father and Eric. But it wasn't as easy as he thought. Um, it's a little too far down, Caillou. Let me help you. This is where we keep our coats and boots. It's important to have them ready so we can move quickly in an emergency. These boots are really big and heavy. <laughs> Why don't you try one on for size? <laughs> Maybe you're not quite big enough to fill a firefighter's boots. <laughs> Yet. It's also very important to keep the truck in tip-top shape at all times. <laughs> I see Sparky has given you the official fire station welcome. Doing here? Sparky works here. He's a fire dog. He sniffs out fires to make sure that we've put them all out. <laughs> this is Sparky's favorite game. Why don't you play with him, Caillou? When we're upstairs and the alarm goes off, we just slide down this pole and presto, we're ready for action. It's really high. Oh, you get used to it. When I first started, I found it a bit scary. But you know, with a little practice, it doesn't bother me anymore. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, we've got to go. Duty calls. Come back soon. I think you have a little firefighter on your hands. Caillou thought the pole seemed awfully high. He wasn't so sure he could ever slide down that pole, but Daddy knew the perfect place for Caillou to practice. Whee! <laughs> Ta-da! 
Very good. Keep up the practice and you'll be a firefighter in no time. Don't worry, Gilbert. Firefighter Caillou will rescue you. See? I saved you. Aren't you glad I'm a firefighter? Caillou's top bunk. Caillou and Rosie were really excited about spending the weekend at Grandma and Grandpa's. Rosie, do it! You're too little, Rosie. There you are. Grandma, I'm staying at your house tonight. Grandma! Bye, Caillou. Mm -hmm. Bye, Rosie. Mm -hmm. But, Caillou, wait! Where's my bed? This is my sewing room now, Caillou. You and your sister will be sharing a room. I don't want to share a room with Rosie. Are you sure, Caillou? I think you'll change your mind when you see Grandpa's surprise. <gasps> a surprise? It's right in here. Yay! Surprise, Caillou! Bunk beds! I want the top bunk! I want it! No, Rosie! I get to sleep on top! Rosie, too! You see, Rosie, it's too high for you. You have to be a little bigger to sleep in the top bunk, Rosie. You'll be happier in the lower one. Time for bed! Oh! But we're playing in our fort. You can play fort again tomorrow. Do you need some help getting up to bed, Caillou? No, I can do it by myself. <sighs> it was easy. Good night, Caillou. Go right to sleep now. Okay, Grandma. Good night. Caillou was so excited about being on the top bunk that he had a hard time sleeping. Things looked very different from up there. The floor looked awfully far away. Rosie, you awake? Don't worry, Teddy. <gasps> oh, no! Teddy? Rosie, help me get Teddy! Rosie was too scared to climb the ladder. The top bunk seemed very high up. It's okay, Rosie. I'll come down. Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to climb all the way up the ladder again. So you didn't sleep up top after all, Caillou? No. Teddy was too scared. So we stayed down here. <laughs> <laughs> Recipe for fun. Let me try. I want to do it, Daddy. Hello there. Hi, Dad. Bye, Caillou. Have fun. Daddy had a few errands to run today. Caillou was staying over until he came back. Bye, Daddy. Grandpa, I have a new toy, a top. It spins on the floor and makes noises and lights up. Did you bring it? Yeah, in my bag. Oh, no! Caillou couldn't believe it. His daddy was leaving with his toys. Caillou was very upset. 
He really wanted to show Grandpa how he could spin his top. Or you can show me your toy when your dad gets back. Come on, let's go see what Grandma's up to. Caillou, I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Grandma! Well, I'll leave you two then. I'm off to the store. Uh, I'll be back before you know it. Hi. I just noticed that Caillou forgot his bag in the car. Oh, great. Thank you. Hello? Hi there. What a nice surprise. What's the matter, Caillou? You usually love gardening. Daddy left with my top. It spins and makes lots of noise. That sounds like a very nice toy. But maybe we can find something else to have fun with instead. No! I want to play with my top. Well, that's too bad because I think I found something. What is it? It's a potato. And I bet that we could have as much fun with this potato as with any toy. Nice talking to you. Now, see you soon. Now, there's something I was supposed to do. What was it again? Oh, of course. I have to go to the store. Grandpa had forgotten all about Caillou's bag, and so did Caillou because he was starting to have a lot of fun. <laughs> I found another one. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have the potato, please? I want to do it. I'd better cut the potato, but you can get some paper. Look at that, a footprint. That's exactly what we're going to do with these pieces of potato. We're going to make prints. It's a tree. That's right. What's yours? <laughs> An egg. Hey, you two. Having fun? Yes. Did you pick up some eggs? I noticed we were out. Let's see, bread, milk, anything else in here? Nope, no eggs. Here's an egg, Grandpa. Look at that, it certainly is. Well, I guess I'd better go back to the store for the eggs Grandma needs. Can I go? I can bring my picture so we don't forget. That's a great idea. Grandpa, look, there's a dinosaur on the box. Do you think there's a real dinosaur inside? No, <laughs> it's only cereal. You're probably right. Now, let's see. What is it that we came here to buy again? Eggs. That's right. Do you think you can find where the eggs are? This way. Hey, wait for me. Look, Grandpa, potatoes. <laughs> I don't think we'll need any of those. One, Grandpa? Well, I usually get those. Whoa! You have to be very careful with the eggs, Caillou. Why? Because they break very easily. Like this? Exactly! Grandma, look! I carried the eggs all the way home and I didn't break them. Caillou learned that eggs are very fragile. So Grandpa where they were in the store. Caillou's drawing came in very handy. I'm making vegetable soup. Mmm, and not just any soup. The best vegetable soup in the whole wide world. Look at all this. Say, these almost look like two eyes. <laughs> and this is a nose. <laughs> <laughs> A mustache! Wow, look at that! Can I borrow the nose to put in my soup? Daddy! You left with my toy. 
toys. But I gave your bag to Grandpa. Oh, dear. Caillou, I guess I forgot to give you your bag. I'm sorry. Well, I'll be. Your toys were here the whole time. But we had fun anyways, right, Caillou? Daddy, I went to the store with Grandpa. That sounds like fun. Daddy, look! Here you go, Caillou. Do you want to show me your toy now? No, I want to go home and show Mommy my drawings. Potatoes? I used the potato to draw with. I picked it out of the garden, and then Grandma cut it in half, and we used it to make pretty pictures. And that's how Caillou found out there were lots of ways of having fun, even without his toys. Caillou goes to school. was waiting for something and he didn't want to leave the window right away. Now, please. What is it, Daddy? I need you to put away your toy so I can vacuum your room. The faster Caillou finished cleaning up, the faster he could get back to the window. Caillou was waiting for the school bus to arrive. He couldn't wait until he was old enough to go to school. Hi, Sarah! Caillou! I have one more thing for you to do. Caillou? You there? Coming! Caillou had already taken a school bus once, but he couldn't wait to take it every day. I wish I could go to school. Lucky for him, at the end of the day, he was going to get his chance. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. My class is having a little brother and sister day at school. And since I don't have either one of those... Would you like to go to school with Sarah? Yes! That sounds like a great idea. The next day, Caillou and Mommy were packing for Caillou's first day at school. I think we have everything. Pencils, paper, lunch. We forgot this. I have to bring my dinosaur to school. I don't think you'll need your dinosaur today, sweetie. There'll be so many things to do at school, he'll just get lonely in your bag. Okay. The school is big. Caillou thought the school was very big and was afraid that he might get lost. Come on, Caillou. That's the bell. We have to go to assembly. Okay, Caillou. I'll pick you up after lunch. Have a good day at school. Caillou was beginning to feel a little afraid of going into the school. Do you want to hold my hand? You'll see, Caillou. School is a lot of fun. Caillou was happy that he was going to school with Sarah. He felt like a very big boy. Wow! Caillou had never seen a classroom before. He thought it looked like a fun place. Put your backpack here. Can we play ball in a classroom? We're not allowed to play with balls inside the school. Where is everybody? They're in the gym for assembly. Come on, we have to go. What's assembly? It's when the principal talks to us. You'll see. What's the gym? Come on, Sarah, let's play! Caillou, we can play now. The principal's about to speak. We have to sit down and listen. Caillou didn't realize there were so many rules at school. He didn't want to sit down. He wanted to continue playing. We can play later on, okay? Where do we sit? On the floor. Like this. 
Now we have to be real quiet and listen, okay? Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Today is a very special day, and we have a lot of first-timers among us. Sarah! Brothers, but Sarah, I oh, really have to go to the bathroom. This is an extremely <sighs> fun, fun-filled action pack day. After the bathroom was done and assembly was over, Caillou and Sarah went back to her classroom. You're lucky today's a special day. Usually we only get to write on the blackboards when the teacher asks us to. What was that? The bell for recess. I like your school, Sarah. So do I. But I wish we had more time to play outside. Caillou didn't understand why Sarah wanted more time to play. He loved being in the classroom. When do we read and write? I don't think you'll learn all that today. But we'll do a lot of fun things. Come on, recess is over. All ready? Caillou thought the bell rang a lot at school. Caillou loved to paint, and he was happy to find out that they painted at school, too. I'm going to draw a picture of your school. Don't forget that one day this will be your school, too. What did you bring for lunch, Caillou? A sandwich, carrots, an apple, <laughs> and some chocolate pudding. What do you have, Sarah? Fried chicken, cheese, celery, and a cookie. Wanna switch? <laughs> I like switching lunches. I don't get to do that at home. Maybe I'll have dessert first. Caillou loved being at school with Sarah. He wasn't able to switch lunches with anyone at home. So, how was school, Caillou? I drew on the blackboard and even switched my lunch with Sarah. Really? That sounds like fun. But I didn't learn how to write. That's because you're still too young. Don't go growing up too fast, okay? Caillou couldn't wait to grow up and go to school every day. Even though Caillou wasn't quite ready for school yet, he was ready for one thing, nap time. Caillou's Kitchen. Caillou's mommy was preparing a special meal for guests that were coming for supper that night. Oh dear, this doesn't look very smooth. I'm cooking supper for our guests tonight. I want to cook, too. But I want to help. Caillou, just wait a minute, okay? Stand back, this is hot. I can do it, let me! Well, let's see what you can help me with. How about you wash the lettuce while I finish this? Yay! Caillou was happy to help Mommy cook. He wanted to show her that he was a big boy. Look, Mommy, I'm washing the lettuce. Oops. <laughs> Here, why don't you rip it up and then you could dry it, okay? Here you go, this will make it easier. Just turn this and the spinner will dry the lettuce. Ah! How's the souffle coming along? Oh, it's getting there. I'm cooking. I can see that. Caillou, why don't you go play outside with Rosie now and let Mommy finish cooking? There you go, Rosie. Stay out here and play for a while, okay? Hi, Caillou. What you doing? I was helping Mommy cook, but now I have to play outside. I love to cook. Let's make up some recipes. Okay, let's make... Mud pizza. Mud pizza? Well, I guess we just need to find the right ingredients. Let's see. This pizza needs some cheese. And pepperonis. We can use rocks for pepperonis. 
there. All finished. Me too. No, Rosie. Dinner's not ready yet. Right. We need to make the salad. We can use leaves. Now we have to wash the lettuce. There. All done. This soup is going to be good. Gilbert, stand back. This is hot. Gilbert! Gilbert! Whoa! Sarah, look. This could be dessert. Look, Mommy, we made a cake for dessert. It looks delicious. Thank you. And we brought flowers, too. They're lovely. I have just the place for them. They're here. Coming! Caillou's Sea Adventure. Look at my kite! Whee! I'm going to the park to fly my kite today. Caillou, what are you doing? Mommy, get dressed. You said we were going to fly my kite today. Remember? I don't think we can, Caillou. They're calling for rain all day. All day? Caillou was very disappointed. He was looking forward to trying out his new kite at the park. What's wrong? I have nothing to do now. You could play with Rosie. I don't want to play with Rosie. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe you could have a friend over. Leo! Hello? Can I speak to Leo, please? Oh, thank you. Bye. He's not there. Caillou was discouraged. He had no one to play with and nothing to do. Cheer up. With a little imagination, I'm sure you can find something to do. Can't see Rosie. Where is she? Caillou. Peekaboo. <laughs> hey, this is my drawing. Caillou, she was just looking at it. Pirate. The pirate drawing and mommy playing with the sheets gave Caillou an idea of what he could do. Okay, Rosie. You can have it. <laughs> Did you find something to do yet? Uh-huh. That's strange. I could have sworn there was a... Caillou! Caillou was building his very own pirate ship. He thought it would be fun to pretend to be the captain of his very own ship. this right now. Huh? But I was playing with it. You can only play in the living room if you two play nicely, okay? Rosie, this is my game. Rosie, 
Caillou was having fun now playing with Rosie. He liked the fact that he could always make her laugh. Wait, Rosie, I know where I can get a fish. <laughs> Look, there's a fish in the water. It's a shark. He wants to eat the fish. <laughs> Gilbert! We're safe now, but we have to build a boat. Catfish! <laughs> I better swim to shore and get some stuff for our boat. Boat! Boat! Hey, Caillou, what are you up to? I'm in the sea. Me and Rosie are going to build a boat because Gilbert is a shark. Well, I haven't seen any sharks around here. Maybe he's hiding. Here, maybe you could use this to find him. Caillou was having a lot of fun playing pirates. Now he was all set to build his pirate ship with Rosie. Rosie, you're in the water. Let's build our boat. There. Now we can be on the lookout for sharks. Look, Rosie, an island. Maybe there's pirates. Pirates? Maybe the pirates took Gilbert. I see a pirate. Daddy! Hurry, hide from the pirate. He's gonna catch us. Hard. I'm a fearless pirate. Look at this, an abandoned boat. <laughs> hmm, I think I'm going to climb aboard. Oh no, I surrender. You caught me. Okay, Mr. Pirate, where's Gilbert? I don't know. Hey everyone, time for lunch. Can we have a picnic on my boat? I think your boat is a little too small, Caillou. Caillou knew what to do. If his boat was too small, he just had to make a bigger one. Mommy, can we use the picnic blanket? Gilbert, <laughs> I found you. All right. I guess a rainy day is a good reason to have a picnic indoors. Here you go, Gilbert. Tuna fish. And so, on a rainy day that began with nothing to do, Caillou and his family had a wonderful picnic by the sea. Caillou misses Sarah. Caillou, can you guess which one goes in front of the birdhouse and which one goes in the back? I know. This is where the birds can come in. That piece of wood. Now I'm going to glue the floor on before I nail it. See? We're going to take care of Sarah's house while her family is away. Let's see. It's a list of reminders of things to check around Sarah's house. You're leaving? Yeah, I'm going to be gone the whole summer. But I'll be back. Come and see what we're building. Okay, but I can't stay long. Look, Sarah, the birds come in through here. Hi, Sarah. Do you want to help, too? Can we paint it, Daddy? Sure. I'll bring it upstairs. I'll get my paint. I'm making a snake. <laughs> Look. Here's 
snake has chicken pox now. <laughs> Sarah! That was your mom on the phone. You have to go home and finish packing. Caillou didn't want Sarah to leave. He wanted to continue painting the birdhouse with her. Have a great trip, Sarah. Have a wonderful vacation. Bye. Bye, Caillou. I'll see you when I get back. Caillou was already looking forward to when Sarah would come back. Caillou, but Sarah will be gone for a couple of weeks. Why don't you go ahead and finish painting it? Okay. That looks great, Caillou. Sarah helped, too. Well, you two did a great job. I bet she'll be happy to see it when she comes back. I'm leaving to go check on Sarah's house. Would you like to come, too? Yes! this. We'll take it inside the house. I want to do it. All right. Now, let's see. Where's that checklist that Sarah gave me? The house was very quiet, and Caillou thought it was strange to be in Sarah's house when she wasn't there. Ah! <laughs> oh, Caillou, it's only mm -hmm. Ollie. Come on, Ollie. Supper time. <laughs> Only one scoop, Caillou. I'll take care of his water. Ollie ate all his food, Mommy. Let's see. We brought in the mail, fed the cat. Now we have to water the plants. Can I do it? And so Caillou toured the house to water the plants with Mommy. We're all done. When is Sarah coming home, Daddy? Caillou! It's a postcard for you all the way from China. It's from Sarah. From Sarah? It says, Dear Caillou, I am visiting lots of relatives in China. I'm having a lot of fun. Then it says, I can't wait to show you pictures. Please give a hug to Ollie for me. I miss you all. Love, Sarah. When is Sarah coming back, Daddy? Not for another few weeks, Caillou. Rosie! Rosie! I got a postcard from China! I'll be right back, Caillou. I have two more plants to water. Hi, Ollie. Here's a hug from Sarah. Caillou thought it was taking a very long time for Sarah to come back. He missed her very much. Ready to go? Caillou, want to come and help me? Woozy, too! Why don't we all go? Mommy, the door is open. Ollie, where are you going? Aren't you happy to see me? Sarah! Sarah was finally home. Caillou was very happy to see her. Caillou! Ni hao! What? Ni hao! It means hello in Chinese. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for taking care of everything. We were glad to help. Did you have a nice trip? It was great. Sarah, I have to show you our birdhouse. Come on. Real birds live in it now. Wait, I have something for you. What is it? 
Here, let me help you. It's a fan. Wow! Bernie! Caillou was very happy to see Sarah again. <laughs> T-shirt trouble. Caillou's mommy had to run some errands, so he was staying with his grandma for the afternoon. Ready to surprise Grandma Caillou? Caillou, my favorite little visitor. But why are you wearing a jacket on such a warm day? Look, Grandma. Caillou wanted to show you his new shirt. Do you like it? It's wonderful. Blue suits you, Caillou. I'd better be going. See you in a bit. Bye. See, it's got a pocket, too. So it has. Why don't we go inside and celebrate your fancy new t-shirt with a little snack? Okay. We went to a store. I picked it myself from a shelf way up high. Oh, no! That's okay, Caillou. It was an accident. Grandma, my shirt! A little stain remover should do the trick. Let's give it a try. But first, let's go and find you something else to wear. <laughs> I look funny. <laughs> it's a little on the long side, but I think you look very handsome in Grandpa's shirt. Now, let's go tackle that stain. I want to do it. It's still there. I'm sorry, Caillou. I've tried everything, but the stain just won't come out. Caillou was upset. Now that his shirt was stained, he didn't want to wear it anymore. I don't like juice. Here, let's put it in the recycling bin. I have an idea. We could recycle your shirt into something extra special. All we have to do is add some more stains. More? Caillou didn't understand what Grandma meant. Then we tie knots like this, and it'll make a pretty pattern. You'll see. Pretty patterns? Uh-huh. Hand me the T-shirt. Now we'll dye it with the grape juice. Why don't you put it in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> When it's dry, you can put it back on. This time, you can surprise Mommy with your extra special shirt. It doesn't look special. Caillou thought his shirt looked very strange. He was beginning to wish he could have his old shirt back again. Caillou, Mommy's here. Here I am. Caillou, your shirt. I got juice on it, so Grandma and me recycled it. See, it's special now. It certainly is. It's the brightest shirt I've ever seen. It's a one-of-a-kind shirt. No one else will have one like it. Caillou thought his shirt looked even better than before. He couldn't wait to go home and show Rosie and Daddy. A helping hand. Caillou was spending the day with Grandma. He was very happy because Grandma was babysitting Caillou's favorite dog, Rover. Rover, fetch! <laughs> Caillou, can you help me put this in the picnic basket? Are we going on a picnic, Grandma? No, but we are going out. Would you like to come and visit some friends of mine today? Can we bring Rover? I always do. My friends love to see Rover, and they'll be even happier to meet you. I speak about you all the time. Caillou had never met Grandma's friends before. Where do your friends live, Grandma? We're going to visit my friends at the retirement home. What's a retirement home? It's a place where elderly people who can't live by themselves can go and be taken care of. You're old, Grandma. How come you don't live there? <laughs> I'm still young enough to look after myself and Grandpa. But I like to stop by with some baked goods and help out a bit. It's fun. You'll see. Rover, wait! <laughs> Rover loves coming here. All my friends love him. Hold on tight, Caillou. We don't want him running around, okay? Okay, Grandma. 
Come on, Rover. I made a sandwich for my friend, Mr. Jenkins, and I baked some cookies for him as well. Cookies? <laughs> Mr. Jenkins isn't the only one who loves my cookies, is he, Caillou? Like you're both tangled up. Now, Rover, you be a good dog. Hello. Who might you be? Caillou. And who's that? Grandma and Rover. Hi, Mr. Jenkins. I asked my grandson Caillou to bring in your snack while I keep an eye on Rover here. I know he bothers your allergies. Oh, that's silly. Come on in and bring the little feller with you. Is that your dog, Caillou? No, I have a cat. <laughs> well, that looks an awful lot like a dog to me. Well, I'm very glad to meet you, Caillou. Your grandma talks about you all the time. You're very lucky to have such a terrific grandma, Caillou. I bet you love her cookies just as much as I do. Here you go. I don't like to eat a little... <laughs> Gesundheit! Come on, Caillou. We have to take Rover away from Mr. Jenkins now. Goodbye, Caillou. <laughs> Come in. Hello, Mrs. Murphy. How are you today? I'm great. Oh, look, and you brought Rover with you. Come here, puppy. <laughs> Oh, and this must be your grandson, Caillou. It's so nice to finally meet you. I was just playing cards. Do you know how to play, Caillou? Would you like me to teach you a game that I play with my granddaughter? Here, sit down and I'll show you how. Caillou, would you like to stay here with Mrs. Murphy while I go visit Mrs. Peterson? Oh, I would love that. We can play cards together. How about it? Caillou felt a little shy with Mrs. Murphy, but he was really curious about her card game. I have a special deck of cards I use when my granddaughter visits. See? They have animals on them. This is called the memory game. You place all the cards face down on the table, and you have to pick two cards that are the same. Here, I'll try first. Now it's your turn, Caillou. You've got it. You're good at this. It's your turn again. Caillou was having a lot of fun. He loved playing cards with Mrs. Murphy. And he was good at it, too. You win! <laughs> I won, Grandma! Congratulations! I'm giving my exercise class now. Would you like to come along, Mrs. Murphy? Maybe another day. I think I'll read for a bit. We'll play again next time, okay, Caillou? Whenever Amy wins, she always gets one of these. Would you like to exercise with us, Caillou? It's fun. It's kind of like a game. You can finish this after. All right, everyone. Let's all take a deep breath and limber up a bit. Okay, now stretch as high as you can. Now shake it loose, everyone. That's it. Shake, shake, shake like a wet dog. was upset that he ran away. And now Rover was lost. Rover! Caillou, what's wrong? Are you lost? No, Rover's lost. Don't worry, he can't be very far. Oh, there you are, Caillou. Did you find Rover? I looked everywhere, Grandma. Oh, sweetie, don't be upset. Rover knows his way around this place. 
He usually ends up somewhere that he's not supposed to be. Rover! I think I know where he is. Mr. Jenkins! Come in. Rover! I told you he was somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Jenkins. No harm done. He was scratching at my door. Rover wants more cookies, Grandma. What'd I tell you, Caillou? Everyone loves your grandma's cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. 